Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi, welcome to today's class. My name is Robert Seifert, and I'm with USA Portfolio Incorporated. I'm here as the host of your REI Classroom today to discuss with you what are the best methods that we use for renovating properties. This REI Classroom Real Estate Lesson is sponsored by TheInvestorMachine.com, FlipNerd's private investor coaching program and your blueprint to investing success. Specifically to rentals, but this could apply to any renovation as well. So some of the key things that you want to look for inside of a property when you're doing it, and again, in my opinion, it's going to be kitchens and baths number one. You've heard that a lot, but it's primarily the most important thing in your renovation, retail or rental. One, if it's retail, it's going to attract the more higher end client that's going to pay you top dollar. And if it's a rental property, again, it's attracting the best tenant possible. So with kitchens and bathrooms, what you really want to do, in our opinion, we tend to go more new than anything else. Um, why? Because it gives the best appeal and it's the things that people most look at. Things that you detail wise that you're going to want to look at, are you doing cheap on the flooring, just putting some sticky tiles in, which may work for some rentals as long as you get an adequate new feel. Um, I would tend to spend a little bit more and put the full tiles in the property. The other thing, if at a minimum, even if it has good cabinetry in the kitchen that maybe you can repaint and gives it a fresh new look, then at a minimum, change out the sinks and change out the countertops. Put in a brand new fresh countertop. It doesn't cost you that much to go down to Home Depot or Lowe's and grab a great solid piece countertop. The other thing is the faucets in your sink. So put in a great stainless steel sink. Double sink is great if you can get it. Single sink is okay. The other thing that's more important though is on that faucet. Go the extra little step and get yourself one of the spray handles that pulls off for the kitchen. Just sends another nice little appeal touch and it attracts a better person and higher quality person that's willing to pay more for the house on a rental and also willing to pay more on retail. Same things in the bathrooms. We generally replace all vanities um, just because we like the newer fresh appeal. Change out all your toilets, put in brand new ones. This is a very simple thing to do. It's very inexpensive and it just makes a big difference. Would you want to sit on an old toilet? Highly unlikely. So go ahead and change those to brand new. With the bathtubs, if they're surround, change them out and put brand new. It goes a long way just to have brand new day one so that you know what's behind it because there may be some hidden things that could come up later that you could have avoided if you just ripped it out, spent a couple more dollars up front and did it the right way. If it has a solid fiberglass tub or steel tub, in that case, you can go ahead and have that reglazed. But again, I would rip out any surround and I would replace it, replace it. And more importantly, I would go with the tile backs if you can. Again, a little bit more dollar up front, but less long-term maintenance. You're going to eliminate the things that people do for CapEx. Now let's talk about CapEx. A lot of people speak of rentals and they say, well, I can do it cheaper and I can just estimate for CapEx. If you do your renovation right up front, you can eliminate CapEx. So what do I mean by that? Replace your roofs. If it's got five years left, don't wait for five years and estimate that you're going to repair it because here's the things that you're not estimating in that CapEx. The maintenance calls are coming in for the leaks for the roof, the repairs that you do it over the next five years, and all the damage that it may cause inside, water damage to drywall, tenant issues in a tenant possibly moving, causing you vacancies. There's a lot of things that go wrong. If you would have just replaced it up front before you moved in a tenant, now you have no CapEx to factor for. You're also eliminated all the potential maintenance issues that are going to come up over the next five years that you weren't planning for to begin with. So I'm always for new up front, again, because it goes a long way in the things that you're not thinking about as far as making a maintenance call when somebody's in the home and having to do multiple repairs to different areas of the home because you didn't take care of something up front. So in renovations, again, new is always better in my opinion. Don't cut corners up front because those corners that you cut up front are always going to cost you more money. How do I know? We've managed hundreds of homes and worked with several masterminds that manage tens of thousands of homes. And across the board, the people that have 10 to 15% plus in their maintenance are the ones that factored CapEx and thought they could get away with it. The ones that are in three to 4% maintenance long-term are the ones that did all the renovation up front to make sure before anyone moved in and we had any issues, it was all taken care of. This goes for your mechanicals too. Maybe you got a 10 year old furnace that works well, replace it. Don't think you're going to replace it later. Why? Again, the maintenance issues when it breaks down. You're thinking of inspecting every year, that's fine, but you're not thinking about the pilot going out. The multiple issues and multiple calls that you're going to have, they're going to add up over time. They're going to cost you a lot more money than simply just replacing it up front and having it under warranty. 
Again, hopefully this taught you guys something on renovations. If you want to learn more, always reach out. It's another classroom. I see you guys on the next lesson. Have a great day. Are you looking to change your life through real estate investing? If you're interested in either getting started or taking your business to the next level, please check out FlipNerd's private program at theinvestormachine.com. This is the most robust real estate investor coaching, networking, and mastermind on the planet and designed for your success. If you're ready to roll up your sleeves, ready to take personal responsibility for your own success, and ready to dive into a world-class instructional coaching program that provides you step-by-step -step instruction to help you achieve financial freedom, then you should apply today. Spaces are limited and candidates are only considered after an application and interview process. Our 12-month investor program is unparalleled. Think you might be a fit? Learn more today at theinvestormachine.com. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of FlipNerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows, where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com shows, or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.